Hi, this is Marcus and today we are going to create this navigation drawer. But before, I would like to tell you that perhaps this is the first time you are visiting my channel. So I needed to tell you to step back and to watch the previous tutorials. I did this very first one where, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I taught how to build up this Android navigation bar. Then I show it as well. This concept of atomic design. Then we split all the little details, atoms, atoms, atoms. Then going ahead, we uh, built together this Android navigation bar, this molecule. Then when we have two molecules, we have an organism. I showed that. Then we did a template. And finally, we did this page. And we documented all the information we had about every small detail, every small icon, things like colors, opacity, stroke, width, height, padding, and so on. So I already taught that. In the second tutorial, I showed how to build up this app bar with all icons, I explained a little of them. We didn't get any icon from the internet. We um, built every single detail by ourselves. Then we documented as well. And then we had this at the end of the tutorial. Okay, and for today, I want to to do with you this Android navigation a drawer, all right? So let's step back a little. We have here this bar. I would like to talk again about that. This bar is a molecule because I have many atoms. One, two, three, and four, this rectangle. Join them all together, we have a molecule this concept of um, atomic design. This other bar, actually here we have two molecules. We have this app bar, this white component, and this other bar, it's named status bar. We didn't build the status bar yet, but in the future we are going to do that. So we have two, um, components two molecules together actually here we have a an organism actually but let's just say that we don't have this status bar so we have just a molecule right we have a molecule fine you got my point. And then I have a frame, a screen, where I combined three molecules. I have this one, status bar. Status bar. I will align by uh, left, it's gonna be better to demonstrate what I need. So we have here status bar, like I said, I will decrease its size to be smaller and perhaps gray, just to, to demonstrate. So we have here this status bar. Let me do some um, arrow, something like that to demonstrate from where it came right status bar very good let me group this cut 
traced just to organize so we have one uh, molecule here status bar we have another molecule it's named app bar like I demonstrated before app bar application bar perhaps um, people can call other names but the component is the same uh, it can vary a little here varies a little here a little there but uh, the explanation is quite the same one okay and in the bottom we have the Android navigation bar Okay, it's gonna be better just to demonstrate but <laughs> I'm a designer I'm teaching you all guys about design so I have to to design things design is not only about the visual design is about the text the organization the consistency all of those things are design as well so we have um, three um, molecules and like I said before when we combine many molecules we have an organism can you see here many molecules together we have three molecules status bar app bar and Android navigation bar so uh, these three molecules they are making an organism it's important to have in mind and then the action for this little icon this little icon is known as hamburger hamburger menu or nav menu i i already saw that but i'm gonna call like many people call um hamburger hamburger menu just just that hamburger menu or nav menu or whatever hamburger menu when the user taps here this bar will appear will appear on the screen from the left to the right making an animation let's repeat this um, this component will appear from left to right you know doing some animation and here like I explained before we have a template this navigation drawer is a template why is it a template because I don't have yet the real information here I have a placeholder for photo and here I have placeholders for icons and text titles for menus like menu one menu two menu three four five and so on and i have as well this um, layer with a little of opacity to demonstrate like i am in a layer over the screen you know like a, a real drawer so we have here this template i explained that deeply in the very first tutorial so if you are not familiar yet you can step back and watch again that tutorial and finally we we take the template and then we uh, type real information here I have this name but here I have no placeholder to the name that would be here like text and name something like that you know all right so I have this placeholder as well to type the name and finally we are going to have this page that's gonna be nice to do together this page like explained because we have real information we have the photo the name the message and then we have some icons we are going to draw together 
they are pretty based on material design material design is the pattern the um the components the pattern the design that um devices that use android they they have material design so we will draw together this chat icon alert icon tags icon messages icon and bean icon as well this one is blue because the intention here is to demonstrate that it is selected and then when we select other one the other one will be blue and the preview selection will be gray and black all right, I talk it a lot. Now it's time to go deep and to draw this um, navigation drawer. So the intention here, I expect you to set up this screen at first. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna do that with you. It's really, really easy. I'm gonna press Alt, click, um, hold and drag to have this, this information here, these things here. Now I'm gonna ungroup sometimes. I don't need this anymore. Don't need this, don't need this. I don't need this too. I will not draw um, the components I drawed before because this is not the proposal. I just want to, um, to mess around to demonstrate how things work together so this component we already have this component we already have this component we already have you don't need to draw all of them again you just need to go to your um, another page like I taught you in other tutorials you can come here like select what you need not here but here you have this um, app bar and the status bar as well just need to go here select ctrl C then ctrl V C for copy V for paste you know copy and paste I did that like I will do again just to demonstrate you can come here select Ctrl C, you can come here, click in whatever place, you know, Ctrl V, then Ctrl Shift G to ungroup. All right, all right, I ungroup it. If I need group again, I select all of them, like click, hold, drag, release, Ctrl G for group. If I need to ungroup, Ctrl Shift G to ungroup. Now I have things not grouped anymore. All right, so just copy and paste things to reuse to gain time. I'm gonna draw this shape. To do that, I will get the measure like three two zero five two five. Right? You, sorry, you click here then draw a shape whatever size then type here 320 enter the other one 525 all right 525 the color it's going to be d e d e d e so open here and type here D E D E D E. It's exa and color. And then I have a shadow here. I didn't uh, show how to create this shadow. It's pretty easy here in effects. Click here. Then open these effect settings. Effect settings. Then just click here on the blur words. Click hold and drag like a lot 24 for instance that will be good so 24 we have this shadow 
it's gonna be our screen our view right so we have this view right now so we can click in our bars and position like here status bar comes here I'm not seeing the status bar I thought before we can come here and click hold and move to the upper part this um, status bar then move here <clears throat> and then move here and with this bar same thing just a copy from the other page like I, I showed you a couple of minutes ago and then we are going to have this screen really nice right and then we need to demonstrate uh, but we don't have any information here we could have a text we could have some cards some illustrations icons forms doesn't matter it's not important because we are going to um, create to concentrate on the navigation drawer so let's do that next thing we we need to have is um, I will select all those elements Ctrl G to group I will delete this one and I'm gonna move here you know to verify closer to this um, part that is already done what I need to do I need to have this this layer to do that I will press R to rectangle click and draw whatever size then I will place it here these red guides they help me to align things then I will click and move to here and these red anchors they help me it like snap do you know that like snap to lock all right I will open here I will pick up the black color and then I will change the opacity like um, 40 it will be good the opacity is like that then I have to draw this part it's pretty easy I will press R again then I will click I will draw I will respect the status bar and I will respect the Android navigation bar as well all right the color it's gonna be white good and then it's good to name things like it's, it's really important this layer with opacity I'm gonna call like um, overlay I will remember what overlay is here I will call navigation no I will call background it will be better then I will move this back but here I have many things like I can press and hold control to select only this shape this shape has this name like background so if your shape has no name type here and uh, type background okay then I'm gonna move back I need to draw this blue part the color is up to you I will select here this white shape I will press ctrl D to duplicate I will call this header for instance then I need to decrease the height and then the color I will open here I will click here this dropper and I can pick up the same color here and the dropper it has a shortcut I can click here in the shape that I want then I go to my keyboard I will press um, I I have the dropper 
right now and I click here the color will be the same so I have this header I have to have this um, placeholder for photo the size is like just it's grouped to select only this shape I press ctrl and I click I have to have this shape um, 58 by 58 so I'm gonna draw that I will press O the shortcut for ellipse then I draw the ellipse here whatever size then I come I, I go here 58 by 58 same size now I have to align using the 8 pixels grid like I taught uh, you before I click here then I point to this blue part I will respect like um, let's see what um, I did here 16 by 24 by 24 24 24 16 all right I'm gonna do the same click here 24 upper 16 left and here I have to increase its size a little like I can click here increase some numbers like um, upper arrow up arrow then I point here to verify just one more good no two more no I, I'm doing the wrong thing not here here it's 58 enter the blue one has to be like like this now it's right 16 by 24 by 24 all right I have to have this photo text to demonstrate it's a placeholder I will type photo the size the font size will be 12 then I will move here like I said before uh, these um, red lines vertical horizontal they are my guide to demonstrate like I'm exactly in the middle the size will be 12 the alignment center and the color like a dark gray because I don't need to have um, too much contrast then I will select this background I will hold shift I will click here and now I have the two of them selected I will press ctrl G to group I'm gonna call it like um, photo photo here the name is ellipse it will be better like background or, or container or something here I can call like text for instance it will be better because like I said before some tutorial tutorials ago when a developer will get these um, this file to code it has to be really um, easy to understand so this is the reason I have to fix it because the overlay is not for cover these two bars the status bar and the Android navigation bar all right we are almost there then this text it is Roboto medium 16 so I press T for text I click here and I type like text name or I can have like text text something like that then I click here I type 16 here is medium if it's not medium you can change here to medium the height the font height the color I just open here white then the distance it will be 8 8 is good I just click here I move I release I press out I point to this gray part and then it's like that 
I have to have more or less the same uh, margin top and bottom it's not possible sometimes I, I just need to come here like height and decrease just one pixel sometimes and then I can have this one like this way then I have to move a little a little here it's gonna be good 44 by 44 and here by 8 this is perfect now just awesome and then we need to have this um, shape for icon and menu here it has 16 I can take this one select ctrl C ctrl V then I move down I press I to dropper same color regular and then I will type like menu one for instance and after that I will copy this one as well ctrl C ctrl V after select move down and the size it has to be 24 by 24 I just type here 24 by 24 24 all right um, it's strange I will press ctrl Z ctrl Z ctrl Z to undo then I will constrain the proportions here and now it will be better like 24 will be for both of them and then the font I will type like 8 um, let's see I will click here you move to the right I'll click here you move to the right too so we have something like that it's okay it's just a placeholder it's okay the developer will understand but it's not photo it's icon now so it will be great icon let's see the distance <clears throat> 24 so we need to move 24 use the keyboard it's so much more better 24 here as well here I think that it is 16 16 16 by 24 perfect the distance between the icon and the text it's like 8 I think so it's always good let's see 8 always good always good then we will align like in the middle here we just need to press shift to move like in a line you know not having problems like moving around pressing shift it will be easy to to align then always looking at these red lines they demonstrate as like in this case uh, it's telling that I am in the middle perfectly this is good now I will click here press and hold shift same thing here I will press out I will click and I will move down did you see I have 8 the distance between this one and this one is 8 pixels like I said before, I like to step back and to demonstrate many times as much as possible like 8, 16, 24, 32 it's named 8 pixels grid always align things have the distance using these measures this is gonna be the menu 2 the color is black I can press I to the dropper then I click here this icon will be 
blue so I will press Ctrl click here to select only this shape because I have this group then I press I and I click here I click here on this text I press I and I click here to get this color now it's good I will copy these two elements 80 then I will press Ctrl D to dupli duplicate the last thing I did and I can press many times uh, Ctrl D, D, D the Figma will understand me like okay Marcus you you did this copy before so I think that now you want to do the same thing menu 2, menu 3, menu 4 let me see here, menu 5 the space between the elements it's a little uh, bigger let's see 16 I will change that later I'll just have one more we'll do this copy perfect now I will select all of them all of them holding um, shift and then I will click in this line or I can come here same one and then I will tap I will press no it's wrong it will not work I will click here in this line and then I will move down until 16 you know Figma has a lot of shortcuts they are really useful so now I have my um, navigation drawer and the action to the navigation drawer is like that if I tap tap one time this menu will appear from left to right and if I don't want that anymore I can tap in this part out of the component and the animation will be from the right to the left it will come back to this state okay pretty good so we have this uh, these elements pretty nice pretty pretty nice so I'm gonna go ahead I will copy I will press out I will click and I will move to here and now that I have this template we did together this template and let me tell you something really special if you are not familiar with Figma when we are using Figma we don't need to save things because Figma has a feature it's named autosave so there is no need to be concerned of losing our files that's pretty awesome all right now we have to to have photos here first thing that I want to do is the text so I will type here and I will I will click here and I will type like hello James oh my text box is small sometimes that happens I just need to come here auto width now it's okay um, this navigation drawer is larger and this one is not larger what I need to do I just click here in this white part and I move a little to the right same thing with this header just perfect alright now I have to delete these simulations simulations I will tap the right names this one will be chat alerts tags messages auto width we learned a couple of seconds ago right and this one is gonna be bin 
Okay, for photos, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. <clears throat> we just need to go to Google, for instance, copy some photo over there, and then paste the photo here. It's really, really, really simple. I'm gonna open my Safari. I will type like, designers photos then I have like this girl over here for instance I will go with right click my safari is in Portuguese but I will um, copy image then I go back to my Figma, I will go closer, like zoom in, I will select only this background, I don't want to have this um, group, I just want to have this background, and then I will just go Ctrl V, the photo will be placed in this shape the shape of the that that was before there the ellipse and then i can edit if i if i want like i need to click here image i can open here this fill and then i i go like crop i will click here in this anchor on this anchor and then i will press shift to respect the constraints and I can like increase a little the size of the photo the photo size you know you can play around it's pretty easy to edit so every time that you want to have some photo on Figma you can do that you have other ways of uh, place photos on Figma but this one is most well known i believe so then we have here the stroke open here uh, it's important to have something like two i believe it will be good open here white color and that's done that's right all right let's do this icon now they are simple to do as well I will click here, I will pick up the pen and then I will be closer this icon to help me to verify what I want to do. I will click here, I will hold shift to have this line um, straight, then I will click here, then I will move my mouse, I will click here. I will move my mouse I will click here move my mouse click here then I will release shift because shift is for straight um, lines when I don't want to have straight lines I just release the shift and then I will go here and I will click here to close this draw to close the lines and after I do that I go here I click on this icon named move I can press V as well the shortcuts and then I, I can like click and um, select these two points keyboard up arrow I can have something like that after I will select this corner and I will change to two. I will have a little of smoothness, a little of radius, and here as well. All right, a nice icon. Then the fill, I will click here, I will open this color, pick up blue. Stroke, I don't want to have a stroke. I will click here, minus, to delete this stroke. Then I click out twice. So I have this icon, pretty similar. The other one 
it's similar to I press P for pen click here hold shift click here click here click here click here ask then click out click here twice select this corner to this corner to as well color um, dark gray no line press R to rectangle and draw something like this click here move a little I will um, click twice select these two points together and move a little um, press ask twice and then we are going to have something like that select two of them ctrl G to group this one dark gray okay we are almost finishing this part this tag is a little more difficult press P shift click here click here release shift move like this click move like this without shift move like this without shift and move like this without shift press V to move to we can play around like this if we need you know then select these two points to to have these corners with a little of radio this one just one all right fill no line dark gray I want to increase a little this one I will select press and hold shift and then I will move a little it's much more better I will press O to ellipse I will draw an ellipse here like 3 by 3 white color I will zoom in to move better I will decrease 2 by 2, 3 by 3 mm, I will increase the size decrease here mm, perhaps, I don't know perhaps mm, not convinced but something like that can work 3 by 3 it's not the best one <clears throat> Let's see, increase a little more, perhaps mm, a little better, no, something like this, yeah. Select both of them, group them, name, tag, this one, like uh, flag, internally, you can call shape, here, this vector shape as well this vector shape this vector shape just to, just to organize things and just two icons more here is pretty easy click here click here move without shift click here click here 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 don't be don't worry because after you can like click twice on the line and move things to be better like this one fill no line dark gray great then I can decrease a little here and here too something like that will be good 
the name will be I have no group here because I didn't need to have more than one shape the name will be like um, like a message yes that can be message no matter and then the last one will be the bean trash P for pen I love to use pen I prefer to use pen click here hold shift click here click here here and here all right ask once then you can press enter or click twice on the line two ask few no line and the lead will be like this p click here hold shift click here click here click here it seems like a music click here click here click here and finally click here then like i i said before if that's necessary you can click twice you can play around like okay marcus my icon is not like yours so you can move things around you know like this like this it will be fine <clears throat> one and here i think it's gonna be good two one yeah one is okay all right feel no line no stroke bark pretty similar not exactly the same but similar i can edit whatever time i want like go into the keyboard you know changing slightly things if i want but i don't i will select both of them ctrl g to group i will call bin shape shape to okay I have all icons perfectly then I will select here this one I hold shift to select many of them together then I will move around I can come here align horizontal centers all right it's, it will be better and then i will select all of them again and we will press out to point to the margin 16 it's right then i have to align this one with this one vertical this one with this one vertical centers it's not working i don't know why <laughs> i didn't click <laughs> of course that is not working i didn't click this one with this one this one with this one i'm sorry didn't work this one with this one now it's okay this one with this one and vertical centers this trash bin is too too longer too tall I, I have to decrease its size like this like i said before we can edit the icons whatever time we want we need good really good so um, now we have to see the distance between the texts and the icons I will measure to this one like 15 it will not be the same because the icons they didn't have the same size so I can measure by this one 16 I want to have 8 like this okay pretty good 
now I have to have the same distance between the elements like I will group I will group I will group and I will group two and I will group two now it's easy to see the distance it's like I can click here and tied up the tied up will organize my things and then here I will use the 80 pixels um, measures 8 pixels um, method like I have 8 let's see 16 or 24 or 32 when I am here inside I click twice I can press and hold shift then I press I press uh, arrow down or arrow up I can go 80 by 80 by 80 it's easier right so I have this and I will name like menu one a menu two a menu three just to organize it's important to have organization Men menu menu four and finally menu five good pretty good so my navigation drawer is organized it's complete and now i have this um this page so let's recap we had this one we did before this molecule first and uh, tutorial then in the second one we did that and now it was time to group all the molecules together like having three of them we have an organism with many molecules and then we started doing this action after the user tapped this uh, hamburger menu this action would open this this image this screen this frame this action this this drawer why not this drawer is much more better and here I demonstrated the template and after the template we did together it was time to have the page the real page with real information pretty easy to do after that um, in the future we can prototype and animate here using Figma to demonstrate that to you. Let's see which more here. We can name it photo. It's correct. Everything is right now. And finally, at the end, I I could document everything with you. But this tutorial is too long and I don't want it to be uh, longer anymore because it will be a little boring to have tutorials like more than one hour, one hour, one and a half hour, two hours. I don't like to have tutorials like that. So I will stop this video, but to document like each detail is missing, but you saw that before and I'd like to recommend you to do that like separate each small part and then tell type like which color opacity stroke width height padding margin and so on to have all the things all the icons everything organized okay so i hope that you are enjoying my tutorials specifically this one i really hope that you enjoy that a lot because I did take in a lot of care you know it's like my little baby I really hope that you like that and if you have any doubt please drop a line leave a comment and I will try to figure out a way to help you bye